Hey everyone, Seth Ruth here with a Guild Wars 2 cosmetics guide for new players, and this one is all about the die panel. To access the die panel, you open up your hero panel, so you can either go up here to hero, or you can press the H key. And um, basically, you can see here you've got the preview of your character. Over here on the left, you've got your selection of dies, and over here is your armor, and their various die components. Now, see here, the thing is, you have your list of armor. These are my pieces of armor that I have equipped. And these on the right of that are the various bits that I can die. So I'm gonna actually pick a bright color so you can really tell what I'm changing here. Now you'll notice that some pieces of armor have like four pieces of dieable areas, and some only have two. Some you might find only have one dieable area, and so it really just depends on the armor you get. Now, to change whatever dye you want, basically, you pick a piece, you know, a color that you want to dye it. So, like, let's say I want to dye something blue ice, and I want to dye part of my chest piece blue ice. So I go over here, and I just hover over uh, the different dye areas, and I figure out which piece it is that I'm wanting to dye. So say I want to dye the sleeves and the chest piece, like most of it, that's where I would click. This one obviously changes the the hem of the sleeve and the collar. This changes some of the like jewelry bits of this chest piece. And this one changes the hem of the chest piece itself. So, you know, you just kind of hover over, find whatever it is, the various parts that you're trying to dye, find where it is that you want to dye, and you click. Now, as far as die goes, obviously this is kind of the default layout for the die. You can, it's sorted by the starter dies, common dies, uncommon dies, rare dies, etc. This is basically just the rarity of the die. Um, obviously starter ones aren't the dies that you start off with. That's pretty self-explanatory. You can also sort it by hue, which sorts things into various color families. This isn't always quite great because, for example, you know, there's reds, but then there's pinks, but pinks get grouped in with reds, and some of the greens and blues and purples all kind of uh, fade in together. And another way you can sort them is by material. So vibrant is kind of vague, but basically they're just very brightly colored dyes. There are also colors that are they usually kind of look good best on leather types of leather and stuff, and then of course in the metallic dyes that, again, obviously look good on metallic pieces of armor. Pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, you can mess around with that. There's three tools up at the top here. Apply dye, pretty straightforward. You use it to apply dye wherever it is that you want to apply it. Um, remove dye, you can hover over an area to just kind of wash it of any dye so it looks how it would be by default. And then finally, color picker. Um, if you, I don't know, don't know what color it is, you can hover over it, be like, oh yeah, Persephone, I want that. And then it takes you to the apply dye and you have the Persephone dye selected or whatever dye it is that you've chosen. Additionally, you can right click colors to add them to your favorites. So let's see, I really like midnight purple. So I can right click it and so I don't have to scroll through and try and find it in my big giant die collection. Honestly, I don't even have half the dies, I don't think. Um, I have it right up here at the top, or say I want blue ice. I can add that to my favorites, so now I have these. You can right-click them to remove them. So, that's the die panel. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, you can use dies an infinite number of times, and it's account-wide, so I have access to all these dies on all of my characters, which is great. And... Yeah, you just use them infinite number of times. It doesn't cost any transmutation charges or any money or anything. You, as soon as you get the die, right click it, it goes into this panel in your hero panel. See, here's the main hero panel, dies. There you go. Um, you can get dies from leveling. You Like one of the leveling rewards you get to choose some die sometimes. Uh, you can craft die, um, chefs craft a die. You can get them from a, as a random reward from Black Lion Chests, or you can buy them from the gem store. So, hopefully this die panel overview has helped you if you've been confused. Uh, let me know if there's any more information about the die panel that you want to know, and I'll try and help you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the internet.